started this tour on the 4th of January and it was supposed to have ended a couple of days after that. Then we had to suspend the tour. It was supposed to have ended on the 12th. So we had to suspend the tour because of the fuel subsidy crisis. So I'm very happy that we were able to resume the tour this Monday and it has continued smoothly. As I said at the beginning, I embarked on this tour for three main reasons. The first reason is to say a big thank you to the women of the State for all their support, for all they have done to encourage and be there for the administration of Dr. Carl Defiemi, for all they have done to ensure that our families are safe and sustainable in our state, and for demonstrating that women are indeed the pillars of any society. The second reason why I decided to embark on this talk is to let people know what my initiative, the Equity Development Foundation, is all about. I launched the Equity Development Foundation roughly seven months ago in Ado Equity. And the purpose of the Equity Development Foundation is to provide support and assistance to various marginalized groups in the state, particularly women, youth, and children. I have been involved in social justice work, gender empowerment work, and the work of social justice philanthropy around the world for many years. And for a long time now, people have been asking me how I intend to bring my experience to bear on the people of the state. Bringing the Equity Development Foundation to Equity State is my own way of giving back to the state that I come from, giving back to the state where my husband is the governor, and giving back to the people who I know happen to be the most hardworking people in this country. The third reason why I decided to embark on this tour is to do some sensitization and awareness raising on a range of issues that I have been concerned about. Some of them are initiatives that I am promoting, such as breast cancer awareness, family planning, and so on. And some of the sensitization awareness is to do with certain policies and laws that the government has put in place. Some of these policies and laws predate the administration of Dr. Kaede Fayemi, and some of them have been put in place by this administration. It is one thing to have laws in our city, but it's another thing for our citizens to understand what these laws are all about. Therefore, I have been going around the state, talking to women about these issues, getting them to understand what they mean in their lives, and sharing the information with them in ways that are simplified and uh, easy to understand. I have learned many lessons from this talk. But the key lesson I'd like to share with you all, and particularly for the benefit of the people from the media, is that we still have a lot of work to do in many of our communities. But I know that by the special grace of God, because we have women who are very hard working in our state, women who are industrious and women who are willing to learn and are willing to give up their best, all the things that we think are difficult to be made possible if these women are empowered. My husband's administration has an eight-point agenda that we are all familiar with. And one of the pillars of this eight-point agenda is women's empowerment and gender equality. All development planners, all policy makers all over the world have now come to terms with the fact that you cannot think of developing any community. You we can't think of any kind of transformation without the active and full involvement of women who happen to constitute over 50% of the population. I'm therefore very pleased that as I come, as I bring this tour to an end, the great women I have met across the state and who I have been able to support through the AKT Development Foundation will continue to give up their best to the community, to their community. And I pledge on my part that I will work even harder to ensure that all the things I've been able to share with them the materials, the uh, financial assistance, and all the things that we have done that we can do even more to ensure that all our development goals in this state are met. At this point, I would like to thank the people who have made this tour possible. 
Before I start going through this list very quickly, it is not possible for me to mention everyone, but there are some people or some institutions I really do need to mention because I would like it noted for the record that they stood by the women of the Giza State. They didn't just stand by me, this is I mean, they stood by the women of the Giza State. I would like to thank His Excellency the Governor of the Giza State, Dr. Kari Fayemi. Her Excellency, the Deputy Governor of the Giza State, Mrs. Kumilayo Olayinka. I would like to thank the Minister of Women's Affairs, Social Development and Gender Empowerment, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, the Ministry of Local, the Ministry for Local Government Affairs, the Ministry of Information, all the local government chairmen, all the local government chairpersons, and the wives of the local government chairmen. I would like to thank the AKT Enterprise Development Agency, the AKT State Aid Control Agency, the Forum of Spouses of Equity State Officials Processo, all our media partners who have worked with us, many of who are here today, and all government officials and their spouses, too numerous to mention, who have been there to support us. And lastly, I would like to thank all those who have supported the work of the African of the Equity Development Foundation with financial support. I would like to thank the African Women's Development Fund, United Nations Women, Elisa de Nigeria Limited, the T.Y. Danjuma Foundation, Doe Project, Alaji Aliko Dangote, First Bank of Nigeria Limited, Plantex Nigeria Limited, Kope Consult Limited, Zunel Consult, IGI, and many individuals too numerous to mention. Because I'm sure many people have been asking, where did Eredu get the resources to go on this tour? The resources have come from these establishments I've mentioned, not from the state government. Asusa Fashuba, Kumala, your bami, or the approaches. I your life, your approaches. Fashuba from K, your bawocha. Crotches. Hey. Samuel. Samuel. Hile Samira Lias, Florence. Catholic widows. If Delighted to be here this afternoon and to be asked to commission this new school. I would like to congratulate the acting caretaker chairperson for Adodoku government. Madam Funola, we are very proud of you. You have done extremely well, you and your colleagues. I greet all the teachers and all the people who run this school. I hereby commission this facility to the glory of God and to the benefit of humanity. And I pray that all our children who will receive education here will do so in peace and they'll make good use of whatever they learn. Yeah. I unveil this plaque. 
in the name of the Father, Amen. and the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen.